your conscience of his own. Whether it will become a force for good or ill depends on man. And only if the United States occupies the position of preeminence can we help decide whether this new ocean will be a sea of peace or a new terrifying theater of war. But why some say the war? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago? Why the Atlantic? Why did Christ play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one we intend to win in the other two. But if I were to say, my fellow citizens, that we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in New more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses, several times more than have ever been experienced, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communication, food, and survival on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, more than speed about half that of the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictator is out, then we must be bold. seconds and counting. They pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Separation and the launch escape tower separation. Houston, be advised the visual is go today. 
190 miles downrange now, 72 miles high, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Downrange 530 miles, altitude 95 miles, velocity 17,358 feet per second. 11, this is Houston, you are go for staging. Ground for 10 seconds to land. This is the S4B. Stand by for mode 4 capability. To mode 4. Mark, mode 4 capability. TDQ 602 and ignition. And we have a good third stage now. Follow 11, this is Houston, you are go at 11.
Uh, we're now less than one minute from the scheduled time for the descent orbit insertion maneuver to be performed by the lunar module on the back side of the moon. Of course, we don't have radio contact with the spacecraft. Uh, mission control here, where normally maneuvers of that sort would be monitored on spot board in front. Uh, we have the board set up, and therefore the hours descent. Okay, we're going to occur about one half rev from the back side of the moon. Okay, we're going to take off at the right angle to the right side of the moon. Okay, we're going to take off at the right angle to the right side of the moon. Uh, little group, uh, not much that we can do at this point until reacquiring the spacecraft. We're now 20 minutes, or 20 seconds rather, from ignition on the uh, descent orbit insertion. That will be a 29.8 second burn of the 9800 pound thrust descent propulsion system. Roger, you're a go to continue. You're go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. Altitude 40,000. And Eagle Houston, we got data dropout. You still looking good? Good radar data. Altitude now 33,500 feet. Altitude now 21,000 feet. Still looking very good. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the burn. Altitude 13,005. Final says we're go. Altitude 9,200 feet. 30, you're looking great. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. I do understand, go for landing. 3,000 feet. Copy. Bravo 1. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. We're go, same high, we're go. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet. Into the air, 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. Angularity, 
I only hope that, uh, that as a result of what you've done, we can do our job a little better. We can reach for the stars just as you have reached so far from the stars.